Hey everybody, and welcome to Virtual Travel with Explore Up Close. I'm Caroline, and today I'm going to give you a virtual introduction to one of my favorite places in Europe, Northern Portugal. I'm going to be showing you some photos from a trip to Portugal last summer, and we'll get to know a little bit about the city of Porto and the Douro River Valley. Just to give you a little bit of background, the city of Porto today is Portugal's second largest city, second only to Lisbon. However, Portugal's earliest roots as a modern country lie here in Porto. Uh, the city began as a Celtic settlement at the mouth of the Douro River, and when the Romans took control of the area, they established a port here in the town of Calais. They renamed the new town Portus Calais. Porto has a wealth of eclectic charm and old world atmosphere. Along the streets, we'll find a blend of Baroque architecture, medieval alleyways, and beautiful buildings, from train stations to churches, all decorated with Portugal's distinctive Azulejo tiles. These glazed ceramic tiles date to the 13th century when Portugal was occupied by the Moors and grew in popularity during Portugal's golden age of discovery. Along Portugal's colorful riverfront is the perfect place to soak in the atmosphere and watch the wooden Rabelo boats pass, now laden with tourists instead of the traditional wine. These flat-bottomed, low wooden boats were once the only boats capable of carrying their cargo on the fast-flowing Douro River. Today, a series of dams have been built which make the river much more tranquil and perfect for an afternoon cruise. A walk along the elegantly arching Dom Luis I Bridge, built by a follower of Gustav Eiffel in the 1880s, takes us across the river and into the city of Vila Nova de Gaia. This is the true home of the region's famous port wine. After grapes are harvested in the sun-baked Douro Valley, they are brought into Vila Nova de Gaia to be aged. The cool warehouses on the shady side of the Douro River are much better suited for the long aging process in barrels than on Porto's sunny banks. Only the wine produced in the Douro River Valley can claim the name of port, just as only sparkling wine produced in the Champagne region of France can earn that name. Now, let's make our way upriver into the majestic Dora River Valley. This is the oldest demarcated wine region in the world and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The river's source begins over 500 miles inland in Spain, and the further upriver you go from Porto, the more dramatic the landscapes. The steep slopes of the Dora Valley are distinctive because they have been carefully terraced by hand for over 2,000 years so that grapes can be grown on their sunny slopes. The Dora River Valley is a place of breathtaking landscapes, quiet sun-baked villages, and dramatic vistas. This rural area is the perfect place to experience the wonderful local hospitality with a stay at a local quinta or wine estate surrounded by a sea of vineyards. Thanks for tuning in to another virtual travel with Explore Up Close. We'll see you next time. Ciao.